Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uploading an old video I did about in 2020, earlier when the pandemic first hit. Um, I thought it was some interesting content. I finally got around to editing it. I almost forgot about this. Um, things got a, a little crazy back then, as you can imagine. Hope you guys enjoy the footage and comment if you guys want to see more stuff like this. See you guys then. Today is going to be a good one. So like I mentioned with my summer plans, I'm actually going to be starting to try go-karting. Um, a little late to get into uh, racing like this maybe for some of you who think that um, you know it's never too late to get into something that you uh, want to try out and uh, give it a shot so in this video I'm going to show you my first time at the go-kart track and um, I have a helmet camera so hopefully you guys enjoy the footage and we'll hop right in Alright, so let's get started guys. I'm going to do a little commentary on this. So this league is part of the Canadian Karting Rookie Championships. The carts we are using guys are Intrepid carts. They go up to 75 kilometers per hour. Please excuse the shaky camera a little bit. Obviously it was mounted on my helmet and um, the suspension is pretty stiff on these guys. So here we go. Going down, this is the first turn. And then we go into a left hand sweeper and oops, looks like we got a banana peel over here. Someone slipped. As you can see guys, I'm still, this is my first time actually racing. So I'm still a little bit hesitant, a little bit timid. I should have gone around him. And look, now I left the door wide open. Now someone's gone around me. And you know what guys, let's try to gain some ground here. Still getting used to the cart here. Um, some steering correction there. Yeah, I'm fighting the steering wheel quite a bit. At the end of the day, we want to try to get as smooth as possible. Um, I'm doing a lot of corrections there. I'm losing time. Oh, that guy, that guy came out of nowhere like a freaking jet. Yeah, that guy is seriously quick. He took, I left the inside line there wide open and he just came and swooped in. If you take a look at this, I didn't notice this at the beginning, but it looks like someone went off the track and then you can see all this dirt and gravel get kicked up here. So I'm trying my best to try to catch up here guys. So now I'm going to block that inside line and carry a little bit of speed over here. It's much better than before. This turn here is a little bit tricky because at the end of the day, you know, you always want to use the whole track. So there's a little bit of runoff there on that turn that I could carry more speed and do a wider, uh, wider turn there. Now you can see how far these guys are ahead, guys. I couldn't catch up, but we're going to try to make a comeback here. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with the track, with the cart itself, and I'm being able to point it in the right direction and kind of get it to do what I want a little bit better. So here you can see the turn a lot more smoother than before. Hit that clip, that apex. And we are right there. Just one more lap, I think we could catch up to these guys. Down the long straight, I'm gonna need a nice turn in here to carry the speed. Much better. Now we're right on him guys. Got to do the same thing with left-hander. And we're right there, guys. So close. And this is a fun little bit here. Nice little battle between me and this guy up here. So I try to take the inside line. And just there, we're wheel to wheel. Can I make it? Oh, I gave him the inside and he took it over. 
guys were right up on him and we got a decent amount of speed i think we can do this it's down the long straight you see him looking over me at me here guys i've never overtaken someone and i have to make a decision on whether to stay on the inside line and kind of push through it and i did and overtaken successful you guys this was my first overtake i was super excited a lot of adrenaline pumping right now and guys my focus right now is just try to carry this speed try to make up as much time and you know create more distance between me and the, the guy I just passed. So I'm pre feeling pretty confident. I'm getting a lot more familiar and confident with the track. And my focus now is to catch up to this, these other two guys right in front of me. So far so good. You can see there my, my hands are cramping up a little bit. I'm just trying to stretch it out. Decent turn, decent turn. Still got to work on my approach here. I'm not 100% satisfied with it just yet, but I'm getting pretty close, guys. I'm doing pretty good. And wait, who, who the f is that guy? That guy came out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure that's the same guy that like just kind of blasted past me like a jet. So this means that guy pretty much is just lapping me right now. That guy is really quick. Look at this guy, he's just gone. I can't even can't even catch up with him. You can see there he's already reached the other pack over there. Probably gonna do some damage too. That was a lot better with the uh, carrying speed over that turn I went on the, the runoff a little bit. It was good. Still not sure how to attack this part there, you see that steering correction there. Um, if you guys have any tips or suggestions on how I can tackle that, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, you can see that guy now has joined that other pack. I think he's overtaken someone there already. He knows this track pretty well and he's got some good you know some good skills over there over there guys I, I, I hit the curb I went off the track and I felt that that was a hard hit I felt that through my spine so like I said guys these are the intrepid cards they go up to 75 kilometers an hour and um, they feel obviously pretty quick and I'll be honest I was kind of surprised at how easy these cars are to, these carts are to kind of spin you, you hit the brakes pretty hard you can lock it up and you can do a full 360 so um, you definitely gotta you know be careful with how you apply the brakes over there guys I'm not sure what happened maybe two cars collided you can see some guy just kind of spin out like that so obviously I'm trying to go slowly around him and if you look at the tires guys, look how much marbles have kind of just developed on the tires. I probably caught them going on the outside lines there. If you guys don't know what marbles are, they're basically like um, pieces of tires that have shredded off. You can see guys, um, when they get attached to the wheels, you kind of lose track and you hear them kind of fighting traction quite a bit after that. just part of you know part of racing I guess um, kind of learning here and there about that but um, yeah definitely want to try to avoid the marbles here so here guys I think this is my best lap of the day it's pretty good speed over there I'm taking some inside hit that apex there guys I'm taking a better line to this turn I'm not hitting the apex but I'm carrying the speed all the way to the end of the track over there much smoother turn over here guys Getting you know close to the apex, probably could have clipped it a little bit better. And then here, just going around, reaching the end. I think, guys, this was my best lap of the day, I believe. All right, so just finished our run. Man, it's hot. My first time ever trying like uh, any kind of like racing. Um, I mean, I've done one like basic track day, but. Um, 
Yeah, I didn't want, it's my own, my own car, so obviously I don't want to push it too much, but with these gold carts, you can kind of get them a little bit more to the limit, but man, your hands get super tired. So this was crazy fun, guys. Um, for you guys who are considering getting into something like this, um, honestly, it's never too late. Just uh, whatever you feel like doing, whatever you feel like picking up, uh, it's never too late. Pick up a new hobby and, you know, it's always good. It's all about the experiences. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys go kart yourself if you have any tips on what I need to do? Um, honestly, I, was, I, was, I wasn't really given really guidance on the track. I just went all by feel and what I thought looked like a good line. But um, hit me up in the comments, guys. Thanks for joining in and catch you guys on the next one.